Oke, okay, kira aku ke. Please, and we're back to the peachy pink lighting and that is to disguise the fact that my room is very ill lit and this sitting seems to just make the illusion that I have some lighting in here anyway finally I get a chance to show you how I'd be styling this cute bobble hat that I picked up from a local boutique and I, that pom-pom is just something else. It's really nice and voluminous, which balances out my little pea head. As often, hats don't fit me because my head is so small, but you have something like this. Just gives the illusion that you've got a bit of volume and perfect, as you may notice for those bad hair days. I am absolutely au natural skin today. I've just got to run a few errands, but I just thought I would show you how I would style the bobble hat. Now, it is absolutely bucketing down there, but instead of sticking over my usual boring rain jacket with a hood, I thought, you know what, I'm going to put on a beanie instead. I've got on this extra long turtleneck from H&M. It's got the extended sleeve. I do find the extended sleeves are a rather cute look absolutely an all-time classic trend and i've got on some brown leggings from cotton on it's their seamless variety i highly recommend and then perfect for rainy day weather are these betty rain boots an absolute total investment that i have no regrets over the color is perfect they're rainproof they're pvc perfect for those rainy days and just to round off the outfit this bag being canvas is also wet weather appropriate. So just a quick little stop in to show you my outfit of the day. And obviously you may not wanting to do your hair like this. This gives the illusion that I have pigtails going on, but basically it's disguising the fact that I have day six hair. I just don't know what to do with it in this beanie. I was gonna tie it back, but then you know what? I just cannot be bothered. So I thought I'd just leave it hanging out the sides a bit like a lion's mane thing going on. I don't think it works, but we're just gonna roll with it. Still loving the matchy matchy autumnal tones. I'm just checking into Country Road and oh my gosh, all the inspo, not from the homewares, but see this plate rack here? How amazing would that be to have built into your kitchen wall? I would absolutely love to display my beautiful plates in there. <sighs> Such a good idea. Sadly, they don't have my sizes to try on, but I did step into Sephora and I checked out their Dyson Air Wrap. They only have it on the cold function and it's barely left any curl, but who for thought, guys? This is a cute look. I love whoever put this together. Nothing like a short skirt and a long jacket, guys. Super, super high waist pants. Not sure if I feel like I'd like my tummy poking through though. Hmm, I tried on there. Blues are coming in, getting ready for spring summer. Oh, these pearls are cute too. Mm, more blues. Super cute for summer. Oh, I've always been cute about this bag that's just coming out. I'm gonna try this too, right? I'm done. Okay, so a little bit uh, short, but just a break.
full of my favorite protein powder. <gasps> Why do I feel like I'm going to splurge just as much in here as I did in seed? Oh my gosh, this is a sample pack as well. <gasps> it's all the flavors. Okay, I might have to get this because I do kind of want to try other flavors. Mmm, peanut butter, banana, honey. Original peanut butter. Maybe I'll give this a go because I've been using the peanut butter cheesecake, which I love. Okay, managed to shoot some Instagram uh, stories and reels while I was out. As you can see, I was quite successful. That was such a fun, unexpected shopping trip. I've just gotten the message that I need to come home. Uh, I got a little bit distracted. I've just done the groceries and I picked up my protein powder because, as you know, well, Perhaps you don't, but I'm alerting you right now. I'm obsessed, obsessed with this protein powder brand. It is Macro Mike. It is a Queensland based company. They do peanut and almond based plant protein, uh, but their flavors are just out of this world. I picked up one in the peanut butter as I'm obsessed with PB and basically anything. PB just pairs beautifully with my life. So I picked it up um, in the plain flavor. I actually had peanut butter cheesecake, which is my very first taste of the brand, which I love, but I thought, look, perhaps I might like this. So I grabbed a full packet of this, a 520 gram pack. So that should last me quite a long time as I don't use much at a time. And then I also picked up one of their sample packs. And as you can see, it's got quite a few flavors. We've got choc caramel cinnamon bun, choc peanut butter cup, PB cheesecake, choc hazelnut, salted vanilla. Ooh, the salted vanilla. That would be really good. Cookie dough. I mean, guys, how could you go past that? And because I spent about $80, I got a freebie, which is a Macro Mike protein shaker, which is always gonna come in handy. I am just having such a good morning, despite the fact that I haven't washed my hair in a week and my face is a mess. But anyway, I'm gonna head on home. I will catch up with you. Maybe we'll do a bit of style up. That's what we'll do. We will style things up and I will show you what I got. Oh, and another lovely thing that happened in Seed this morning, the lady who was attending to me, she was really, really helpful and it was great. There's not many people around. So I really got her full attention, helping me make some decisions. But anyway, not just her, but the entire staff were just absolutely complimenting me <gasps> on my little outfit. And they were like, where's your jumper from? I'm like, hey, Chanem. And they're like, oh, we must go there. And I'm like, the leggings are cotton on. They, everyone loved the boots you know you sort of put together and literally I'm not like my hair is disgusting I, I haven't put any makeup on but uh, it does go to show because sometimes I don't feel like dressing up if my hair and my face aren't done but you know what I really am going to make more of an effort to really bring out my wardrobe enjoy my wardrobe even if the rest of it don't match just to feel good about yourself uh, which is exactly how I started my mood this morning so I just encourage the rest of you that you don't have to have it all done up here to wear your nice things just go out and be you <laughs> and enjoy it <laughs> oh my gosh would you look at this a little person has left their mark all over the mirror I was going to do a mini seed haul, but uh, a little somebody has woken up from a five minute nap. It took me 20 minutes to put him down, only five minutes to wake up. <laughs> Seems like a lot of effort for nothing, don't you think? I'm currently sitting on my bedroom floor, just kind of waiting for my next moment when I can film. Oh, thanks for playing with the tripod. Yeah, he's being a little bit cheeky. I haven't even had lunch yet, so I might just go do that. And when I can manage to get out of my dressing gown, I will um, continue with the haul. And uh, for the moment, I think I'll just eat a protein cookie for my lunch. Oh, I'm gonna take that too. All right, thank you. No, you can't have this one. You can give me another cookie. No, no, you can't have this one. You can't have this one. I'll get you another cookie. This is mommy's cookie, see? I'll go to your own cookie. I'll go to your own cookie. Mm. See? Now we both have our own cookie. Mm. 
Yeah, you've got your own quality. I'm not sure if you can see, I've just changed my lighting, but I have just come back from the hairdressers. So I am feeling so, so much more fresh. And I have to say, and I'm not sure if the camera is doing it justice right now, but this is, to date, the best color I have ever had done. It's ashy. I've had um, the blonde put right through to the roots, getting the spring summer vibes in winter. <laughs> And I just asked for a blowout, which I really do get, but I do love the look of a nice, simple blow wave. You know? Anyway, I just thought I'd share that because it's the only thing I can share right now. The baby has not let go of the cookie idea, so I've had to hide it. No, this packet literally says, keep away from children. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Why not? I think this is the best flavor. Mm. Oh my gosh. I had a fear this would happen, guys. Look at that. See those little black dots? Those are mouse droppings in my clothes. That's it. I have no more animal rights, sympathies, no more. Get out of my life. Get out of my wardrobe. It's even weird on my favorite white linen top. I am so peeved right now. And on top of everything I had to deal with, not just last night, but throughout the week, my memory card was full. So I just spent the last 15 minutes wasting time deleting footage. I'm having just a great run of it. Children are sick again. I barely got any sleep. Nobody did. So a lot of us were at home today. Also walked in and went to get dressed this morning and heard a huge ruffling and rummaging happening in my makeup table. Mouse. Yeah, not a vibe. But you know what is a vibe though? Espresso martinis. Now that's a vibe. Cheers guys. And you wonder why I drink. But I tell you what is a vibe though. This cute coffee mug. I picked it up from Cotton On actually. It's got little speckles on it. And I love the gold little handle. But yeah, this mouse has now gotten into my wardrobe, which I feared. And I have no animal cruelty human rights vibes in me at the moment. I just want it gone. I'm going to get ready because I need to vlog. And I need to vlog not just for my mental health, but... Uh, I need to try and close. I think that'll make me feel a lot better. Let's get to it. Again, apologies for the bad, bad dialogue. I'm going to do a few shout outs here because I have made the terrible, terrible error of judging a product by its cover a little bit too soon. So you may have heard me have a little rant a little while ago about the NARS sheer glow foundation i tried it for the first time and just found it far too mattifying and just too much coverage i guess for a daytime look turns out i was actually over applying so i have tried it several times now and i must say that i love it it absolutely blurs everything and the great thing is is that a little bit goes a long way so i think what i was doing i was over applying so I think I've just got the balance right at the moment. Another thing to be warned of on my channel, I will absolutely hate on a product. When I do that, guys, that'll probably turn into a love. Every product thus far that I have had my first impressions of, I have not liked. And then upon using it uh, properly, 
I love it. So, the products that I love, disregard. The products that I hate, you know it's a good one. Anyway, I am going to continue on with my foundation. I mean, just look at the blur going on. This is exactly what I need right now. And I'm going to give another shout out when I get to the next step. Next shout out is by Terry's uh, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Again, hated it the first time I applied this product. Uh, this is the sample size that I'm still using. In fact, let me zoom in here. So basically I over applied because I used to bake my makeup on, but I no longer do that because it just creates too much magnification. And that was where I went wrong with this product. This product should be used sparingly, but that is all you will be needing because it not only mattifies throughout the entire day, like I will not need to touch up from the morning till the night. So let me show you how it also blurs pores. This stuff is amazing. So let me just zoom in here. Woo! That is so close for comfort. Okay, we've got a good visual on my pores. Now I just lightly apply it under the eye area because that's where I get my mascara running. So always make sure to take away the oils from the skin there. And then check this out. So here are my pores. Would you look at that? It has literally just blurred my pores. And like, look at the chin. I always uh, have makeup coming off in this area. Just look at that mattification. There's still a glow, but there's mattification. So I always apply it here on the cupid's bow, near the nose. I mean, look at that blur. What a flawless finish. And I don't get this from any other powder. It does mattify, but it still brings the glow, guys. I mean, I don't know how by Terry do this, but it is genius. All right, that's enough close up. It's too, uh, far too close for comfort. <laughs> Okay, this calls for a straw. Mm. Oh, while you're here, also, I raved about the Charlotte Tilbury, this is a sample here, Beautiful Skin Foundation, the new one on the block. Not a vibe. At first I loved it because it was more what I was used to, a less coverage, more natural looking finish, but it's a bit more dewy, it's not enough coverage, and now that I realize how tired foreseeably I'm going to be for the rest of my life, I need that coverage. But this is like a natural, when applied in the right amount, a natural finish coverage. So I can highly recommend the NARS She Glow Foundation. Uh, let's get to the hair. I just had it done as you saw yesterday, but I wanted some curls through it. I didn't quite get the blow wave that I was expecting yesterday. So I popped my heatless waves in this morning and let the natural morning dew and the sweat from my workout do the job for me. So let's see how this actually turned out and hopefully I don't find mouse droppings in my hairbrush because I keep them underneath my makeup table. I'm so apprehensive right now. I'm on edge. Okay. For the most part, I think we're looking okay. Good to go. Just needs a bit of a, needs some texturizing. I might put some texturizing spray in it. Using my Aribe texturizing spray. Perfect. Do some shushing. Oh, this stuff smells so good. It smells like clean laundry. Oh, nice from the squalor smell that I'm used to living with. Right, I'm loving this. This will do perfectly. Cute. Okay, hoops. Rings. And one of my kids has stolen one of my rings. Well, That'll have to do. 
Also really upset about the fact that I've had to remove my beautiful display on my magazine rack. I'll insert a picture here, but it was just my favorite corner of the room. It had a bodice with some dried foliage. It had a cute little Grecian vessel. It was just a really peaceful space that I just loved looking over at from my pillows. Uh, but I've had to remove it because once again, the mouse found that a really great space to climb and ruined one of the dried ferns that was hanging in there. So I've had to shift that for now until we resolve this mouse situation. And enough about this mouse. Clearly the mouse is clearly, I can't speak. The mouse is clearly preoccupying my time and my life right now. Well, not to mention just all the sick children and just daily life stuff. <laughs> Gosh, that's good. Now, finally, let's get into my very unexpected seed haul. I have been eyeing off the website for quite some time and I still am eyeing it off. And for those of you out there who do love Seed Heritage as a brand, it's an Australian fashion label. Uh, they do a lot of natural fibers and so forth, really high quality clothes. Sizing is a bit interesting. I feel like they're a little bit inconsistent sometimes, especially in their pants sizes. But apart from that, fantastic brand and really niche clothing, very conservative. Although they have kind of I feel like they're branching out into a younger person's market and you'll see why in a minute. And if you can't be bothered for all of this, you can always head over to my Instagram at Opal Bakes the Vlogs and check out the reel that I made there. Anyway, let's get into the big bag. And actually, this is a good chance for a thumbnail. Thumbnail's taken, we are back to the studio. So, apart from this really big bag, I also have a little bag. Yes, guys, I did stop into Witchery as well and picked up just one little something that I'm so happy they brought out. And you know what? I'm going to start with that little something first. So, it is my absolute favorite equestrian belt. A timeless, timeless piece you can bring out season after season. And finally, Witchery has brought this out in the brown. It is a waist belt. You can get it in a small medium or medium large. And I have one in the black. This is the brown version with a bronze gold buckle. When I saw this come online, I just had to snap it up. So I went in store and grabbed this straight away. I am going to absolutely get my money's worth out of this. And it was... AU 79.95, so not too dear, didn't break the bank. And I also used my vouchers on it, so I think I got it for like half price, so it all worked out. <laughs> Let's get into the seed haul. I've got a few bits and pieces that don't belong in this bag. I kind of had some ideas of styling some of the pieces I picked up with some of the old things that I've got, so I'll put these to the side. You would have seen in my little try-on clips from the change room that I was wearing this little knit ribbed crop with a twist in it. I was ooing and ahhing because it does show quite a bit of midriff but I do have a lot of high-waisted things in my wardrobe now so I thought I could kind of get away with it. Not to mention sometimes a girl just gotta look cute and you just have the attitude that you just don't care what other people think. You just gotta feel yourself, be yourself and just wear what makes you feel good. So this made me feel good and therefore I bought it. I also picked up something that's super basic but versatile and that is a very classic I'm not sure what kind of neck this is is it a crew neck let's see what they say it doesn't say it's in the color soft mink and it's just a basic racer tank top in a soft mink color according to seed super comfortable really nice and thick fabric I'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent cotton let's have a look here are we at 100%? No, 95% cotton, 5% elastin. That makes sense because there's a little bit of stretch to this and I got this in a size small. Then I went out on a bit of a whim here. I picked up the snood. Now I haven't worn a snood since I picked one up from Kmart many years ago and I have since gotten rid of it. But this is a proper snood. So it's basically a scarf, but with a hood attached to it. And I plan to wear this on my bad hair days, of which I have many. And you kind of just pop it over like this. Oh my gosh, I kind of look a bit like the Virgin Mary. Oh, just not as holy. All right. And here it is. I mean, guys, it's a vibe. 
it is i'm going to start a trend on this this is amazing amazing modest fashion that is what i am about people so picked up the snood i just feel like it's going to be such a game changer in my wardrobe and just really add a lot of interest and in what people aren't expecting when you step out onto the streets so not to mention it keeps you warm and the way that it drapes mm. another thing i couldn't go past was those loafers so i did decide to take the canvas loafers and it's got a beautiful i'd call it a canvas woven strap across the front and it's got some lovely leather piping and a beautiful beige color it seems like it's lined with leather let's see it has a leather lining so super high quality shoe now i didn't pick up any of these things on sale unfortunately but with seed i found lately because they've slightly changed again their fashion and i feel like it's targeted a lot more to a younger audience not just an older audience which it used to be previously and things sell out really quickly so this time i thought you know what i'm not going to wait for that sale i'm just going to grab it while it's there i'm going to get so much use out of these loafers another versatile piece another classic piece that you can wear for season after season to come in your wardrobe or even just as house slippers and lastly what i picked up which i didn't show you this satin slip skirt in a gold champagne color and yes i already do have one in my wardrobe but it's a lot longer and it doesn't flare out as this one does this is more of a slightly a-line skirt whereas the other one that i have in my wardrobe is more fluted and i may even end up getting rid of that because i find that fluted things are not exactly flattering for my particular body shape anyway let's style these pieces up so i have just all of the lighting going on here guys i have my little kmart selfie ring light i've got my makeup light and i've got my other kmart ring light over here just to bring some light into this space of which i don't have much so excuse the fact that there are lights coming at you from every angle here is the slip skirt and i think you can see what i mean how it sort of flares out and has a bit more of an a-line silhouette and it's not too figure hugging it's just nice and relaxed which i love i recommend wearing some tummy support or high-waisted undies underneath this and i've just paired it with the tank that i had on uh, it's actually a double laid tank from forever new these are super high quality i can highly recommend and i have it on with my loafers and i think this just makes such a great casual weekend kind of look onto the next look sorry i lie not on with the next look i have popped on my snood with this um as i thought the top colors here were tying beautifully with the skirt i've worn it nice and long which i think is super elegant and drapey and just elongates whatever outfits you have on it's a great replacement for high heels actually so another way you can wear this is again draped over the shoulder you can do the whole one shoulder look or you can do the whole two shoulder look however you decide to wear this i think i like a little bit of drape going on at least for one it's just so so elegant and classy and not to mention it keeps your head nice and warm and your neck so again loving this modest fashion look not to mention this color will literally go with everything okay second outfit and i couldn't resist i had to keep the snood on the snood just makes the outfit i i feel like i should be on some kind of desert island bedouin tribe situation with this look i just feel mysterious and sensual i just I am vibing the snood, not to mention I am vibing the crop. I am exposing a lot more midriff than I would be comfortable with. Now, I feel like this is cocktail appropriate. And when I say cocktail appropriate, I mean the fact that you will be standing up the entire time, sipping your cocktails. No need to sit down and then you get the, the pooch situation. So standing up is a nice vibe for this little crop situation. So if you're a little bit more self-conscious about the midriff, hike it up. But not to mention I have another solution, which is a very, very high-waisted pair of trousers and just to point out again 
this midi skirt also lends very well to these fantastic canvas loafers. I hope you can still see me because my lighting, which is rechargeable, is dying. This one, thankfully, uh, is still lit and this is on its way out. But anyway, here I am. Hopefully, I am visible. Now, when I said high-waisted, I wasn't kidding. These are the super high-waisted trousers from Shona Joy, another Australian fashion label which I am absolutely obsessed with. Really good moderate price point because there's a lot of tailoring involved. Again, you get belts with your outfit, so you don't get shortchanged. You actually get your money's worth for the money you invest in Shona Joy fashion. They use a lot of natural fibers. I'm just totally into them right now. A super high waisted pair of trousers, maybe even a super chunky belt like this. Uh, it's a nice way to conceal any areas you may be a bit self-conscious about, as I am. And also this top is great for layering your necklaces and you probably would have seen in a previous vlog me unboxing the jewelry pieces I picked up. One of them is from Daisy, which is not a proper jewelry brand. They're actually a kind of, I'd call them an Instagram fashion brand. And I had my eye on this lovely circular pendant with a little green insert. It used to be like $60 and I'm like, hell no, not for some fake costume jewelry. Went down to $13, guys. And then this lovely love heart piece here is from a brand called Oriella London. These hearts are actually enamel. So they're little enamel inserts in these little gold heart frames and I just thought that these pieces layer absolutely beautifully with this v-neck top and that is the beauty of v-necks you can actually show off your jewelry but if you're looking for a more modest look and I've paired it with these lovely Chanel-esque heels not real Chanel's but the next best thing I'll link them down below just another way to style up this top if you're a little bit on the self-conscious side another modest way to style up this top which was a little bit of a brainwave of mine is to lay this top over a dress. This is actually quite a tight fitting dress that I usually would not be comfortable wearing but with the addition of the top it kind of draws the attention more to the top rather than the rest of me. You don't realize kind of how figure hugging it is if there's any bits and pieces you don't want shown. So I've paired it with the loafers and this is again another casual paired back way for this twist top. Again if you're not quite comfortable showing your midriff. I just think it's just so versatile for layering or wearing on its own or with your snood. I just I'm just in love with this design. Okay, another paired back style with this top. This is my take on the look that I created in the change room. I had tried on a leather mini skirt there which was beautiful. However, it was about 220 230 or $250 and I just couldn't justify a skirt costing that much basically especially when it's like half a skirt so I have this skirt here at home this is from forever new they bring this out every spring summer it's I think it is polyester it's not a canvas or anything like that so it's not super breathable but it lends itself beautifully to the look that I created in the change room and I think this does just as well because it has the added detail of the bow and I like to do a little half bow here also got Pockets. So keep your eye out on Forever New. They do bring this out again every season. But this is a really nice way to bring your knitwear into the warmer months of the year. And again, if you're conscious of the midriff showing, you can always add, oh, and that was not very gracefully done, you can always add a little bag as an accessory, which again detracts from the look and draws the attention to the accessories that you're wearing rather than what skin is lying beneath. But yeah, absolutely loving this look, and I think I'm going to bring this out for spring summer. This is super cute. Now, this last look I expect it to be a little bit boring. I'm not gonna lie. This is the tank. Not only is the quality amazing, but it's only $29.95 and you can buy the same thing at Cotton On for $29.95, but you won't get the same quality. So I can highly recommend the tanks from Seed and I hope they bring them out in multiple colors. I paired it with some Cotton On straight loose jeans, which are my absolute favorite jeans of all time. The cut, the fit, they are just so flattering. I think for most body shapes, they're wide leg, they're loose, they're a rigid jean, but they're just an absolute wardrobe staple. This is in the color Urku, so it's not quite white, not quite beige, it's sort of something in between. 
Now, I'm not sure if the loafers go particularly well with this look, but if you're lounging around the house or just going out to, you know, do the grocery shopping, I think this is rather appropriate. But let me show you how I would accelerate this outfit. So to jazz this up, we're going to add a belt. Or as they say in, say yes to the dress, jack her up, Monty. <laughs> We're going to jack this outfit up, Monty. Do you think it's time to get jacked up? Yes. 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 Okay. Sure? All right. We'll jack oh, her up. Yes. In the tan color. Add some combat boots with the most trendy socks, of course. And we have gone from a very boring tank and jeans combo to a very trendy, interesting, Instagrammable look. Beige tones just go with everything. I highly suggest investing in greige, beige, urku, even uh, tortoiseshell because they will literally be such versatile additions to your wardrobe. I cannot stress this enough. When you build your wardrobe, it's good to build it on the fact that whatever you purchase will go with other pieces that are already existing in your wardrobe. This would also go great again with a neutral tone bag. And you have yourself now a very boring outfit now turned moderately interesting. I will wrap up this video guys. <laughs> But I just wanted to point out that everything that I have been styling in this video are generally Australian fashion labels. So please do invest local because we are just headlining the act. This is Country Road, Cotton On, the rest is Seed, Cotton On, Witchery. I can't stress enough. Australian fashion labels are just headlining the act. Even internationally, we get so many mentions. So I really do suggest shopping local and supporting your local designers. Also, please do hit subscribe if any of these outfits inspired you. There's a lot more fashion hauls and lawn mowing overtures to come. This is my final outfit. I'm actually not wearing any bottoms because doing the classic uh, Zoom call thing where I have everything going on at the top but there's nothing going on underneath. So I'll pop some track pants on. It's just the perfect timing for me to pick up my camera with all of this going on. Yeah, I apologize for the background ambience. Let me know if any of these outfits inspired you and I will see you in my next vlog. Take care for now guys and yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Okay, bye for now.